We had only a few Jewish uh, guys in, in the class. Everyone wanted to mock us. You Jews killed Jesus. The big guys, they beat at him without any compassion. For me, it was horrible experience to remember even now. The life in Ukraine was uh, mainly in former Soviet Union was very hard for us. Being atheist was uh, kind of, uh, you know, the system. Believe it or not, we never had Bible at our home. Once I came to the place where I work, used to work, and the young lady, she was happened also to be Jewish, hiding something under the table. Finally, she gave me the Bible because I told, let me get it, let me get it. I thought that Bible is existing instruction how to hate Jews. I decided just to glance. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Sarah. Wow, that's all about Jewish people. And I told, why you would not give me the Bible to read? She told, no, I received it only for one day. So how long I could read it? She told, 10 minutes, sacrificially, 10 minutes. That's my first experience to read the Bible 10 minutes back in Ukraine. <laughs> My son was called to the army. We did not want him to go to the Afghanistan war. I, we tried to hide him, but anyway, f they found him and they caught him and put him to the prison. I did not know how I would help him. I did not know what, what to do in that situation. 40 days and nights, we uh, he was in this prison and uh, we did not know how to help him. I remember myself going through the Ruvim Babi Yar, which was uh, covered by snow. And suddenly I realized that I have to pray. And I started to cry. And I told God, if you only exist, living God, please come and help me. And this moment I realized suddenly that I'm accepted. I'm not alone here in this night, in the snow. I can't even remember how I crossed this bridge and how I appeared at home, but what I remember is that I prayed all night. What happened next? I even could not understand what's going on. But this happened that they brought my son and allowed us to go out for two months, physically release him for two months. Isn't it a miracle? We appeared in Italy in a camp for refugees. I told to my family, guys, we have to go to the synagogue all together and be thankful to God who helped us to escape. In the reality, that was an interesting experience. I never was in a synagogue before. So I learned a lot of tradition and the understanding that God is real came to my heart. But I did not find out uh, how to talk to him, really. I started kind of arguing with him. I'm looking for you almost a year now. What I have, empty hand? I realized that I better have to leave the synagogue. And I left and I cried. I do not know what to do next. Well, a <clears throat> couple days later, uh, uh, one of uh, friends of my son, he, he told, why are you sitting home all the time? Why you would not go to the American club? I heard about the American club, and I heard that as Christians, and I told, Jewish people never would interact with Christians. <laughs> but my son decided to go, and he told, Ma, that's what you're looking for. These people speak about God all the time. <laughs> they read uh, uh, the Bible, and in the Bible, they everything about the history of our people. Why you would not go and see? Well, Bible. I decided I'm going to go once, take my Bible, never come back. We came back with four Bibles. I was amazed when they told, we love Jewish people. What, what kind of Christian you are, I, I ask. Why you love Jewish people, they told. We want to serve you, we want to help you. I started to understand. 
why they love Jewish people. Because then they knew that Jesus is the Messiah, our Messiah. Jesus, Messiah of Israel, it's not normal people. <laughs> All my Jewish heart was against the idea that Jesus would be Messiah. And then I decided I have to read the Bible, Old Testament certainly, Tanakh, to find out who is the Messiah. I simply saw that only Jesus would fulfill all these ideas in the Bible. Messiah of Israel, come to this world to die for me. Suddenly I realized that how God loves me to send such Messiah. And I fell in love with Jesus. I thought, Yeshua, you would be only my Messiah, and I want to serve you all my life. If you enjoyed what you just watched, please like, comment, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more great teachings, videos on our work, and the latest updates on our ministry. If you'd like a copy of a free book I wrote entitled Isaiah 53 Explained, then please click on the link provided, and I know that you'll receive it and enjoy it. So God bless you, and shalom.